So just like with our web application designs, our mobile designs operate pretty similarly in Adobe XD. Uh, here I have the iPhone X uh, guidelines and templates from uh, Apple, which you can get to just as a reminder, going to File, Get UI Kits, and then Apple iOS. So within this template, there's plenty of different options to use. Um, for example, I could just grab this first one right here, copy, and paste as a new artboard. I'll go ahead and just delete this first artboard. And I have a bunch of different options I can start working with and playing with and designing my app. Um, something that you may find useful is the repeat grid. So the repeat grid button, which we haven't talked about yet, some of you may be familiar with it from previous classes, allows you to create a piece of content. So let's say that, for example, uh, this screen is going to have a series of images. But for now, I'm just going to fill it in with some color. And I'll copy this and have another one over here on this side. Let's give it a different color. Just kind of recenter these a little bit. So let's say we have this and we want to extend it artificially so that it feels like it's a repeating system, right? This is just a bunch of placeholders essentially. I can select both of these and click repeat grid. It'll group them, and as I drag this down, it's going to very quickly make uh, repeated images. If I drag this side, it'll make them going this direction, so that's useful for horizontal scrolling pages. But I can basically just make some images, and then it looks like we have uh, a lot more content than there actually might be. So this, this in fact, this star might have been created with a uh, simple repeat grid. So the repeat grid, that's a new function that you'll definitely be using. Um, there's other functions within here that you might play around with, but we're going to dive deeper into those in future videos. So remember to use a lot of templates, use the existing tools, really helps out um, if you can use existing icons. Like if I'm making an app for iOS, I probably want to use the iOS keyboard as my example. Uh, I probably want to use the iOS tab design. Uh, that's just something to keep in mind is that it's better to use these existing materials rather than trying to create all of that from scratch.